Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, it's a beautiful day in LA. The sky is blue, the sun is shining, the birds are chirping. So I decided to drive around and get some inspiration. And that's how I decided to do this tutorial on how to color a sequence. And also because I've noticed that a lot of you like my video on YouTube on how to color satin fabrics, I thought, okay, what's shinier than satin? And of course, it had to be sequins. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be colorful. I'm sure you're gonna love this tutorial. So if you guys are ready, let's go to my table to start this process. For this video, I'm going to use my own templates, but you can use any template that you find online. Mine are available for my Platinum members and they're PNGs with no background so we don't have to lose any time tracing them. So we are going to erase the head and the lower part of the legs so we can focus on the garment. We are going to draw a dress and then I'm going to erase the parts of the line art that I don't need. Just remember that the leg on the right is in front of the other one, so it's going to have more light than the one in the back and that we're going to have shadows between the legs. Now I'm going to close these lines of my drawing and make sure there are no gaps or spaces so I can use the drag and drop function. I'm going to create another layer and move it below the line art and I'm going to make my line art the reference of the drawing. Then I'm going to pick a color for the base of my skin and I'm going to drag and drop. If your lines are not close or if they have gaps, then your paint is going to spread all over your sheet. Once I'm done with the skin, I'm going to create another layer on top of all my skin layers. And if you don't know how to paint skin, you can go to the tutorial number one that I posted here on Patreon. Then I'm going to pick the color for the base of my dress and I'm going to rename that new layer as base, making sure that my line art is still the reference of the drawing. And now we drag and drop the color. Then I'm going to open a new layer on top of my base and I'm going to rename it Shadows 1. And I'm going to pick a darker color so I can start working on that first group of shadows. If you don't remember how we apply the shadows in tutorial number one on how to color our skin full body, you have to apply the shadows on the curve of the breasts, on top of the breasts, and under the breasts. For the torso, remember the cylinder reference we had. So we are going to apply shadows on both sides of the torso. And also we are going to apply shadows on top and below the wrinkles of the dress. Because it's a very shiny fabric, we are not going to apply shadows on the left side of the dress. We are just going to apply the shadows between the legs and then we're going to blend this group of shadows. You know how to blend them in circular motions. Now we're going to open another layer on top of that one and we are going to name it Shadows 2. After that, we're going to pick a darker color. Even though this is a very shiny fabric, we are not going to work with black. 
we're just going to take a really really dark color and we're going to apply this group of shadows on top of shadows one remember this group of shadows is going on top of shadows one but with thinner strokes as you can see i'm gonna leave the front leg with a lot of space for highlights because this is a very very shiny fabric we're going to work with white to make that shine pop Now let's blend these shadows so we can start working on the highlights. We open another layer and of course we're going to rename it highlights this is my one to one technique one color for the base two colors for the shadows and one color for the highlights as you can see if you double tap on the lighter part of the color wheel it's always going to pick pure white then we are going to pick another brush from the airbrush set called medium brush and we're going to lower the opacity so we can have more control on those highlights we're going to start with a base making sure that the areas that have curves are highlighted like the top of the breasts and the top of the wrinkles also the left part of the dress has to be highlighted because the body is a little bit to the side and we have that leg in front of the body that needs to be more highlighted too now we're going to apply more strokes on the parts that we want to have more lights and then we start blending. As you can see, we already have a mix of colors that give you the idea of a shiny fabric. But now let's play with the textures. We're going to open a new layer that we're going to rename Sequence. And we're going to continue working with white, but now you have two options for your brush. One, you can buy a brush set with sparkles like I did. Or two, you can go to the Luminance brush set that comes with the app and work with a brush called Glimmer. Both have a similar finish, but on this case, I'm going to work with sparkle because it's the one that I've been using lately. We lower the opacity and we start applying sparkles all over the highlighted area and some on the base area. The good thing about working on Procreate is that if you don't like something, you can go back by tapping the screen with two fingers. And if you want to redo something, you just tap with three fingers. And because we're working with layers, we can try something different on each layer and then see what works for us. With this brush, you spray sparkles all over the place. So you'll end up having glitter on the skin and on the canva. Make sure you erase them after you're done. Now we create another layer for a dark sequence and pick a darker color. The trick here is to put some light sequence in the dark areas and dark sequence in the highlighted areas. And now my favorite part, 
just go to the luminance brush set and pick the brush called flare. Add them on different areas, especially on curves or dark spots. I always add too many and then I have to erase half of them, but I don't care. I love sparkles. Don't forget your signature. <laughs> and that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and can't wait to have you back. Take care.